Hey guys, it's Molly. I've been wanting to, for quite some time actually, um, do a video on the Shelly Bloom technique. I did take the course, um, but I've been playing around with it and I really wanted to try to make it my, my own, really. I've seen quite a few artists out there um, doing the technique and Jen Neal, I know, was doing um, right, but actually before it came out, she was doing her own style of it. So uh, kudos to all the people that have done it and perfected it. That is awesome. I just wanted to try something a little bit different. So I'm using Australian Floetrol, which can be expensive. Please note, um, I got it off eBay and I'll explain it to you like when I get you down on the canvas, but I'm using my own pouring medium and I'm using no pillow, no base. And I just want to do a record ring and then blow some of the blooms. And I'm hoping that the blooms will take on some of the colors. The webbing will take on some of the colors of the rings that I've made. So maybe it's a crazy idea. I don't know. We'll find out together. All right, guys. I just wanted to do a fun one tonight. Um, this will be my first video with the uh, Shelly blooms. But I'm going to do it my style, and I'll tell you my mixing, and I'll have it all below the video because I actually did measure this out this time. But um, I'm using my regular pouring medium. These, this is not with the untinted base or anything. Um, and then I actually did buy the Australian Floetrol. Let me show it to you. It's right there. Um, this was egg expensive. EGG expensive. <laughs> it was, um, I think like $50. I bought it off eBay. Um, after shipping, it was like 50 something. Um, it, I mean, it'll last me a really long time cause you don't need much at all, but I mixed about, it was basically one to one to get the consistency, 13 grams of, uh, Amsterdam paint and about 13 to 15 grams of Floetrol. You see how that kind of See how that is very thick? Because that's the consistency of my paints. So I wanted them to be about the same consistency. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to find out together. So let me get around to the other side of the table. We'll get started. Okay, so I'm working on a 12-inch round here. I just This is just a wood panel board testing out. And uh, I primed it. I got these off Amazon as well. Um, so I think, so my way, this is my regular pouring medium and I'm going to wreck it like I do my wrecker rings and then I'm going to bloom over top and then stretch it out. So I'm not doing a base layer of white house paint. I'm just using the paint to cover the canvas. I will say, let me take my ring off. I will say I have taken Shelly's course. Um, it was very enlightening and I very much, um, enjoyed it. Um, but I kind of like to try to make it my own and experiment and see, do I have to buy all that stuff or can I use my own pouring medium and is it really just the, the Australian Floetrol that's the magic? And what I've found so far is that the Australian Floetrol and the Amsterdam paint is the magic. I have a bug, I have a bug, I can't get it. All right, so I'm just gonna pour a ring pour. Regular ring pour, I'm using a Viridian, ooh, I had a clump, I'll have to get that out. Viridian green. Cadmium orange, lemon yellow, and phthalo blue. Oh, that orange and the blue and the yellow. Oh man, that's pretty together. Do you guys see this bug that's flying around? I'm not crazy, there is a bug. What, I love those colors together. Okay, so I'm not too worried about this because I'm gonna wreck it and then I'm gonna bloom over top of it. So this is enough paint to cover the canvas though. So I'm just gonna swirl on through here. And then I think I'm gonna bloom in a couple different places. So um, I told you my measurements, it is very thick, but you'll see when I blow it over the colors how it still creates those cells. So I think I'm gonna blow right there. You don't need much white at all. I'm gonna probably cover this and I can reuse this again. I'm gonna bloom one right there. I really like this just as it was. I'm gonna have to do one, a regular one with just those colors. Do I wanna bloom one right in the center, guys? I don't know. I really like that center. I don't know if I should or not. 
All right, I'll see what it looks like without it because I'm gonna blow all around here. So here we go, I'm gonna blow. When you blow, you want to blow down through the colors so that you get those cells. So you wanna actually stretch the white over the paint. And as you do that, the blooms will be created. And then you wanna let it sit for a little bit in order for the paint to kind of slide back under it. I'm already getting some really cool cells in here. I'll show you guys up close. This is what I was hoping for, getting the multicolored cells from the rings in there. Okay, I think I'm glad I didn't go in the center. And even though this paint is very thick, I want it to be the same consistency so that I can stretch it out the same way. And the cells are still created even though the white paint is very thick, so it doesn't have to be thin. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I think I'm gonna wreck a couple more. Wreck through these. Okay, I, I don't know. Let's, oh, almost dropped all my white. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm kinda nervous. Um, all right, so I think I'm gonna stretch. I don't know if I should stretch in a circle or stretch side to side. I'm gonna start, maybe I should bring it like I tell my everybody else to do, to stretch it like that first. Then I can go over. I'm getting some really cool cells. I maybe should have done a couple more, blown out a couple more blooms across it. Oh my gosh, can you guys see that stretching out? I'll show you. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it, love it. Wow, I'm so happy that this is working. So see, you don't need all the other stuff. I mean, if you wanna do it like Shelly does it for sure by her course, um, and I will, just because I'm doing, this is inspired by her, I will link that, uh, her website down below. Um, but like I said, you guys know me, you know I like to experiment with stuff and I'm just getting some of the paint off at this point and then I'll worry about my composition. I didn't tape off the back of this either, so this is gonna be like kind of crazy. But I will likely resin this because um, it's on board. Oh, I don't even know if I wanna do any more. Trying to keep you in, in screen and focus here. Now I kind of wish I'd done a couple more of these blooms because that is really freaking cool. So with my medium, I mean, they stayed. They stayed pretty much the way that they were. Um, some people get a lot more lacing in theirs, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you down and I'll, I'll show you what I've got so far. I'm definitely gonna play around with this. You guys can let me know if you like it or if you wanna see anything more. And I'll show you, I'll tell you my pouring medium down below, but it's just gloss medium and varnish GAC 800. And I wish I'd done a bloom right there. Um, GAC 800 and Floetrol, regular US Floetrol. And then the um, Australian Floetrol was for this cell activator. All right, so let me come around and show you. All right, so look at that rainbow underneath there. That's what I was looking for, to get some of those cellular lines. Like, look at that. To have that webbing stretch across it, but then 
also have those cool rainbows underneath. I love it. I love it. The actual squigglies, meh, not so sure about, but, and then this part right here, almost like a stained glass. Wow, I really like it, you guys. Something totally funkadelic. Look at that. There's so much detail in this. All right, well, you guys know me. I'll show you when it's dry, and you guys can give me your honest opinion. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll show you the dried result. All right, guys, here this one is. Let me see if I can take you in on the details. So this is exactly what I was looking for, really. Um, this kind of rainbow lacing that I get. Oh, I really, really like it. Something really different. And I just wanted to, what I was really testing was to see if I could get that kind of rainbow look. And I'm going to keep playing around with it. And I really, really like the color combination. I think the next one, I may leave a little bit of this green out because the yellow and the blue went to green and then I put green in it. Um, I think I won't do as many little swirlies the next time around. But I really just wanted to see if my pouring medium, if I could use less ingredients and just use the Australian Floetrol and get the same look. And I can. So check underneath the video. If you want to see kind of the ratios, I mixed everything and whatnot. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Yep, the painting. Bye.